You know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Come on out. Activers.com, y'all. If y'all want to support me, this is how y'all do it. You hear now? All right, guys. I'm going to just let y'all know. One of my favorite things to do right now is take y'all shipments to USPS. Yeah, I like doing that because, first of all, it's like this business is like my baby. Like, you know, like I'm carrying, I'm carrying it like this and rocking it, you know, rocking it to sleep. Oh, go to sleep, go to sleep. You know what I mean? I'm so grateful for y'all for shopping with me. With Activers.com, it means a lot. So some of y'all think it's just, you know, for me to just make money and stuff like that, but not really. Even though that comes with it, that's kind of like, you know, the exchange of tools. It is, it is giving you guys something that I believe will make your dread looks really good. And, and it has meaning to it too. Each cross has meaning. I've explained it before, and if you haven't heard it, I'll explain it here. And it means like, like Activerse is of course, you know, Activerse, acting the word of God and creating your universe. The Bible tells us that God created this world uh, by his like by his words the bible says he framed the whole world by his words and that's what it represents when you buy activerse it is exactly framing your world based on what you know the the destiny that god has for you like god whenever he created everybody i don't think he made anybody like anybody a failure so like it is up to me to confess and profess that i'm gonna be a successful person you know what i'm saying like I'm not gonna just let life hit me however it wants to. I'm gonna speak life to where, how it should hit me. You know what I'm saying? I will act the word of God and not react to what happens to me. And that's what Activerse represents. And that's just Activerse the cross by itself. The whole brand has a whole meaning to behind it that's attached to the, you know, Activerse and creating your universe. That's what represents just the, just the cross by itself. Now think about this. You got that as in your hair. <laughs> What does it remind you of now every time you wear that jewelry every time you put it on your head top what does it remind you of now you know what i'm saying it's different whenever you buy a jewelry that has a meaning or you buy something that has a meaning or like a shirt you know it says like you know like for example i have a superman shirt right here every time i look at myself myself in the mirror every time you know i look at my shirt my automatic thought is like superman or like that's cool like he's a dope guy he can fly he can box off demons and all that stuff right superman he's superman same thing with what you wear like if you put a jewelry on your head it has to have a meaning i don't know for me i when i do things i have it has to have meaning to it like i can't just do something without having that meaning like i eat in the morning because it has a meaning <laughs> you know what i'm saying because like first of all i'm grateful for the life that i've been given but not to go in details we have the saint's cross saint's cross is your cross what you carry the burden that you carry when you follow christ really it's not an easy it's just not an easy life to walk this life and without without christ i'll tell you guys without jesus christ i tell you there is no way i will be where i'm at today first of all and second whenever you look at life like i said earlier life will hit you any different way that it wants to it will bring you all this you know chaos distress stress a lot of things right so now, when you follow Christ, you're literally set apart from all that stuff, from all that stuff that this world, this life can try to throw you at. You set apart because first of all, when Jesus came, he said, I'm not here just to do my will. You know, I'm here, I'm here to carry the cross for you guys. It's like live, he lived his life for us. And that's what it represents. Saints cross is the same thing. You live your life back to Christ. You literally carry your own cross. You, know, you got your own cross that you can carry every day. Being nice to people, loving one another. This is what Jesus came to preach about. A lot of people hate Jesus because they think it's religion. It's not religion at all. It is not religion at all. It is the perfect love of God shown to humanity. That ain't religion, man. That's relationship. That's different. That's beyond religion. Religion is good acts. Me doing something good is a that's a, that's a religion. Me feeding the homeless, doing something good for you, for others. That's religion. You know what I'm saying? And that's I, I'm 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 thinking that everybody agrees to that. Uh, that that's a good thing to do. The silver piece first. Two things it represents, right? The Bible tells us to seek peace among one another. Everybody seek peace. Think about it. There wouldn't be chaos. There wouldn't be a lot of things going on in this world. And uh, you know that's what it represents whenever you rock in the silver piece. And also the second is spiritual peace. Spiritual peace is beyond natural peace. It's not 
what I see in the natural, what I look at in the natural, like, you know, for example, let's say, you know, my car broke down. What would be the normal reaction to that? That would be, you know, like, out of peace. Like, it would be like, what the heck am I going to do? How am I going to pay for this? Like, where does the money going to come from? Like, you know, a lot of things that, that would get you to basically get out of your peace will disturb you but basically you know being without peace is like being disturbed you know and so now think about it this way you wake up in the morning you put the silver piece on you what does that remind you now that's different right so everybody that bought for me thank you guys so much it's crazy it's crazy how much uh sales that we had from you know the channel that we have uh, we're not even like you know advertising uh on uh you know on google or anything like that but we killed it the first month we literally killed it and you know as the word tells us like you know we are blessed beyond measure so for those of you guys that bless me the bible tells you that god will bless you because that's what he that's what god promised in the word he said those that bless you i'll bless them so when i sow into people's life meaning that when i purchase something when i give something to somebody i know that i'm blessing them you get what i'm saying and so i expect the blessing back to me and it's not expecting from them i'm expecting it from the principle of the uh the, the verse the principle of the verse that's literally what it teaches so whenever you guys are buying for me and stuff like that i know that i know that you guys are getting blessed not just by this cross but by more things in life you know what i'm saying you're sown in my business you know my business helps the kingdom of god literally my business is literally structured to benefit the kingdom of god and so you know the money that i get it's not just you know going personally to me uh, it's going to the business back to the business to build it and then it goes the majority of it goes to the kingdom business the kingdom of god and what he does uh, or what he has planned for our lives so with that being said i just want to say that thank you guys for purchasing with me i appreciate y'all uh, now that you guys know the deeper meanings whenever you look at it for those that purchase it whenever you look at it you put it on know those meanings you know what i'm saying it could be you feel down you don't have peace that day you have you know anxiety whatever it is that you're dealing with so put on that simple piece that represents that confidence within you no matter what the circumstances are. and uh as promised i'm dying my hair and i'm going actually to sally's beauty sally's yeah there we go beauty sally sally beauties but let me show you guys what i'm gonna get it's gonna be a weird color color that you guys have not expected for those of you guys that have not checked out the other videos you don't know what i'm talking about what color well, you might end up seeing it at the end this video so stay tuned we're gonna go to beauty sally's then we're gonna get something from walgreens that will remove the color uh, that i put which is a dye um oops correction i think that's what it was i was told to get so i'm gonna just get those and then we're gonna head home last secret guys i have four masks left go get it it's five dollar off so I had a barber shop right there. I put all faves on site. But we in the beauty sally. Hello, Hello how you doing? How are you? Good, good. All right, guys, just came back. From Sally's. Shout out to them still for you know always being knowledgeable about what they do. Uh, yeah, I got the color. You know what that means, right? Like you know what that means. Like, y'all got me to 20k. I'm giving y'all this, man. So hey, <laughs> give me the 30k and request the color, man. But I, right, I'll see y'all home. Let's get it. All right, guys. I'm back in this house. We gonna be taking on my hair. Let's get into it. The last video, or you know, the one before that, when I braided my hair, uh, I put in, we put in this rubber band on the bottom. This rubber band is very like unique. Like it's just like, it's not like the regular rubber band. But they look like these basically. It's literally meant for hair, like to tie hair, right? Like small hairs. Yeah. Like what do people use this for though? Like for braids, like box braids. Yeah. Like the top, or they're mainly used for braids because braids are small, but uh -huh. you don't need a big old thick hair tie. You just I think they are called like braid or rubber bands, I think. I don't think so. I don't think so either. So I'm just taking that out right now. And then my hair, like this is the best way to get your hair to get curly. If you're looking to take pictures of like curly dreads.
You know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Come on out. Come on out. Now. Come on out. Ah. Why is it not coming out? Right, guys I just got done taking out everything took me a minute to get everything out let's see if I'm missing anything all right I think I got everything so that's it uh, this is what it looks like to have a uh, curly hair I'm uh right now moisturize my scalp a little bit uh, just because I've been scratching a little bit more I'm gonna use JS lock spots merch uh, which Ryan plugged me up with a, a free oil bottle so I'm gonna use that and also you guys can go check it out at JH lock spot dot shop so I'm gonna be using this right here. I'm gonna lightly open it. I don't need it to drip a lot. I don't want it to drip like. And this smells good too. It smells really good. It smells really strong actually. My hand is like oily. I cannot. You're good at this. You just unzip oh. it. There you go. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it smells really good. It smells like mint. Yeah, it smells like rosemary. Smells ah! It smells good. Then get in. Get inside my dress. And then time to shake all of the dandruff off. And that gets some right here too so for some smell. That's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the likes. And also, in the next video, don't forget, guys, I'm going to be dying my hair. Thank you guys for those that have been purchasing my mask and jewelry. Till next time, keep acting diverse and creating your universe. I'm Activerse, and I'm out. Stay tuned. Curly dreads, man. Curly dreads, man. So I'll stop my hair. I'm out.